Like a hunter sets a trap with juicy bait to lure unsuspecting critters, Satan has a trap set to ensnare you and me and all of us. Good traps only work if they are hidden, out of sight and out of mind. Like fishermen letting down their nets to catch unsuspecting fish. So Jesus said that Satan's trap is called offense. In fact, the original Greek word for offense, scandala, means a trap. Offense scandalizes and draws our attention like irresistible bait. So you've probably been offended. How did you feel? Hurt? Outraged? Insulted? Resentful? Sickened? Maybe you said, how could anyone do that to me? When you're feeling offended, you feel you have a right to feel that way. How could that person say that, do that, or post that comment online? So you've probably seen all the toxic spewing comments of unhappy people. It's best not to become embroiled in that mess. But it's so enticing, so tempting to join in the fray. Sink your teeth into a nice juicy scandal. Jesus warned his disciples that as the days grow darker and wickedness increases on earth, many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Can you see how the trap works? First offense and then feelings of betrayal, then outright hatred towards those you once loved. A brother offended is harder to win than a strong city and contentions are like the bars of a castle. The Bible paints the picture of an offended person being imprisoned, locked behind bars. So how do you handle offense? Jesus answers with seven letters, F-O-R-G-I-V-E, forgive, release the poison, let go of the hurt. Even if they sin against you seven times in a day and seven times come back to you saying, I repent, you must forgive them, Jesus says. To forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was you.